Hello student of class 10, let's continue our chapter acid, bases and salt. In my last video, I have discussed about the pH. pH is the power of hydrogen and pH can be calculated by pH paper which is also called the universal indicator. Actually, universal indicator can give us the information how much strong or how much weak is the acid or base. Apart from the information giving it is acid or base, it is also giving the strength of the acid or base. So pH paper, we also come to know that 0 to 14 number is present. So if the pH scale is less than 7, then it is acid. If it is more than 7, then it is base. And if it is 7, then it is neutral, for example, water. And the strong acid will lie in the less number, for example, 1. And the strong base will lie on the big number like 14. Sodium hydroxide lie at 14. And so hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, etc. lie on 1. So today we are going to know about the pH of salt. So what is the pH of salt? We know that water pH is 7. Then what is the pH of salt. To understand, let perform an activity. Activity 2.14. First step, collect the following salt sample. Sodium chloride is a salt, you collect it. Potassium nitrate is a salt, you collect it. Aluminium chloride, zinc sulfate, copper sulfate, sodium act, sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate. All are salt, you collect, have to collect all the salt at first. Now check their solubility in water. Use distilled water only. So which one is soluble? You have to check. But use distilled water. Next step, check the action of the solution on litmus and find the pH using the pH paper. Now one by one you check the pH by using the pH paper. Which of these salts are acidic, basic or neutral? Identify acid or base used to form the salt. Student remember salts of a strong acid and strong base are always neutral means pH level is 7. So salt is also here we are going to know that is a neutral object. On the other hand, salts of strong acid and weak base are acidic with pH value less than 7 and those of strong base and weak acid are basic in nature with pH value more than 7. It means that salt pH value can be lie in three conditions. In case of it can be acidic also, it can be basic also, it can be neutral also. But the condition is that if the salt of strong acid is always pH value less than 7. Salt of a weak base like uh, uh, any base which is not strong then its pH is also less than 7. And if it is strong base, then it value is more than 7. And if it is weak acid, then also it pH value is more than 7. And if the salt of strong acid and strong base always neutral. So remember, if, if the salt of strong acid is neutral, salt of strong base is neutral, salt of strong acid and weak base are acidic and salt of strong base and weak acid are basic in nature. Chemical from common salt. By now you have learned that the salt formed by the combination of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solution is called sodium chloride. Strain this reaction, we know that acid and acid and base whenever react the salt and water form. So if we take an acid, suppose so 
hydrochloric acid and if the base is suppose sodium hydroxide then what the product will form we know that salt and here water will form and the salt whatever will form it is sodium chloride in this case so this is the salt that you use in food and we can say this is the neutral salt because hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and sodium hydroxide is a strong base and whatever salt will be produced that is neutral salt as I told in our last slide that if strong base and strong acid then the salt will be whatever formed always will be neutral sea water contains many salts dissolve in it sodium chloride is separated from this salt deposit of solid salt and also found in several parts of the world these large crystals are often brown due to impurities and this is called rock salt beds of rock salt were formed when seas of bijon ages dried up rock salt is mined like coal you must have heard about Mahatma Gandhi Dandi March did you know that sodium chloride was such an important symbol in our struggle for freedom and more discussion we will discuss in our next video so today we have to come we have come to know that salts can be neutral salt can be acidic salt can be basic depending on what strong and what weak acid is reacting with what strong or what weak base so depending on the strength of the acid and base the salt ph value can be different different and in our next video we'll discuss different types of salt like potassium nitrate like calcium chloride etc